The cattle industry has always been an important part of the Australian economy, with the industry contributing nearly $8 billion a year. Domestic consumption accounts for the majority of this, with Queensland producing more than a third of the total herd. But farmers, particularly in the central areas of Queensland, have faced a large number of challenges over the last decade, with drought and increased grazing pressure from other animals driving profitability downwards. As we've developed watering points, and this, this has been going on for a long time in Western Queensland, as we've developed watering points, ferals and other competitors for the landscape to our sheep and um, cattle have been able to breed and explode as well. For many years in the middle part of the 20th century, farmers had a responsibility to maintain feral fencing against dogs and rabbits. But in the past 30 years, much of the fencing infrastructure has gone to ruin. Farmers are now realising how critical it is to fence out competitors to their pastures as they deal with kangaroos in plague proportions and wild dogs which threaten herds. We realise that the, it's not only drought that's made the country look so appalling, it's actually grazing pressure from pro probably on 20,000 acres we'd have about 50, have had 15,000 roos. We realised that it was impossible to do any more land renovation or even to preserve your pastures unless we got the majority of roos off the property. You've got to do the hard infrastructure. The champions in Longreach see the investment in their fence as a solution to an immediate problem, but it also forms part of their legacy and adds value to their largest asset. So we went to our bank and they said, well, why haven't you done it already? Interest rates are a record low. And they said, well, if we, you improve, this will improve the equity in your property by at least a third and uh, your production by over a third. My reasoning for fencing is that you put the hard infrastructure, that's a legacy. When you walk away, your children, whoever comes onto the property, they've inherited a hard infrastructure legacy. So you can get away from the baiting, you can get away from, um, you know, from trapping, you are in control once you have it fenced. In the Tambo region of central Queensland, a group of farmers have joined together to form a cluster group to fence roos and dogs out of 700,000 acres of grazing land in a bid to regain control over their pastures and keep out wild dogs. The Tambo cluster group is a group of 17 properties that got together um, to build, build a fence and closing everyone in. Um, the dog, marsupial, uh, kangaroo and pig-proof fence. And despite the infrastructure being a fairly recent addition, graziers are already noticing significant changes. In just six months the fence has been constructed, uh, there's been a major reduction in the kangaroos. This fence, I, I, it stops that grazing pressure and I think it's some of the best money I've, I've spent since in 14 years I've been here. 